What would be your best on all three of them? Uh, if you did all three, we would knock 25 off each and do 450. 450. Yep. All right, let me see if I have it. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40. Bloggy Fritz. Hi. Hi there. Hi there. Just one? Yep, five right. Thank you. I am Froggy Flips. Dude, I've been watching you like for a solid month. Oh, really? That's yeah, awesome. Dude, What's your name? Uh, Dave Clark. David Clark. Oh, yep. yep I enjoy right the there. videos. Man. Is this your artwork right here? Yeah, this is my artwork. That's yeah, really cool. Definitely, man. Feel free to flip through. Awesome. Dan Housen. Oh, yeah. Very he's cool. My guy. Has been for a while. Glad to see he's uh, hitting it big. Oh, yeah, man. He's awesome. Are you local here? I actually live. Down by Carbondale, Illinois. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, so you've done some work for Billy. So oh, cool. I designed the logo for the show and stuff. Very neat. Uh, I'm not sure how I met him. Somewhere down the road in the community. So. Really cool, man. I'm going to have you sign something here in a little bit, man. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Right here, man. Cool. Thank you. How much is your Ernest doll up there? Okay. Ernest is yeah. 80 bucks. 80? Mm -hmm. Care if I look at it real quick? Sure. His full string does work, but he doesn't sound, I mean. Yeah, sounds, sounds drunk. <laughs> it sounds like it's 30 years old. That's a nice box though. Yeah. Can I pay for it? And yeah, just come absolutely. Back and get yeah. For it? Mm -hmm. Cool. That's what I meant. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80. Perfect. Awesome. I'll come back around. Thank absolutely. you, guys. I'm not a comic expert. Is that a reprint? Is that it's uh, one of the Whitman editions? Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, the reprints actually say reprint. Whitman did. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like up there somewhere. Okay. Fan of your channel. Oh, watch thank all, you, man. Yeah, I watch awesome. you all the time. Well, not all the time, but when you. Oh yeah, sure. You yeah. Stuff. What's your name? Uh, Connor. Connor, nice to meet nice you, man. Meet you. Yeah, Find we, anything good yet? Oh, uh, we just got here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I, so I watched you and I'm like, and I saw you find all this like pacers and colts and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I'm like, that's kind of weird because you don't really see that. Right. And I'm like, and then you said Greenfield, right? Greenfield, yeah. And I'm like, East oh, side. Indiana. Yep. So I'm like, that's. <laughs> IU world. stuff, pacer stuff everywhere. That's crazy. Colts. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm drawn to this right here then. <laughs> yeah, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. There you go, thank you, sir. Would you make a deal on those two? About 60. 60, deal. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Enjoy. All right. Thanks, sir. What's going on? What's up, man? How are you? Going. What year is the Donatello? That's 91. That's 91. a storage shelf version. Okay. Would you make a deal on that and the King Hiss? Oh. Do like 180? 
got to do that. Okay. That's awesome. It's a good bubble other than that car. Yeah, I, I just like it when they're clear. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, that's cool, man. Thank you. Yeah. The Cyclone. I didn't see the price. It looks like 15. 15. Another 10 if you want. 20, 40, 60, 80. Yeah, I will. It's complete, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'm missing all the easy, simple ones like that. Yeah. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 90. Cool, awesome. Man, appreciate it. Thank if you, sir. In downtown Dayton, I've got a shop there. Awesome. I'll come check it out. Thanks, man. What's that? Is it always on? Mm hmm. Are you the guy I talked to? Yes, sir. Cool, man. Anthony, nice to meet you. Anthony? Billy. Billy. Cool event, man. Thank you. Are you ready for your earnest? Or you I am, but there's got to be something else here I want. I, I mean. <laughs> Now you're awesome, thanks, man. No problem. I follow you on YouTube. Oh, do you? Yeah. Awesome, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, me too. I'm with you guys on Facebook. I think oh, I follow cool. your shop. Oh, cool. there you go. Uh -huh. Bunch of social media love, right? right? <laughs> love it. How much is the monster? I, I know it's out of my price range. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Yep. So cool. And those are newer uh, bog ones, right there, right? No, those are the vintage ones. Oh, or are they? Yep. These are the new Mad Ball poppers, but these are the vintage. Cool. How much are the bog ones? I... Bog ones are one seventy-five piece. My eyes are just horrible. I can't see them. Uh, Bob, Bob Bork, Drool. I don't know if you were looking for a certain one. What would be your best on all three of them? Uh, give me a minute. Let's see. Kay. Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, if you did all three, we would knock 25 off each and do 450. 450? Yep. All right, let me see if I have it. Sure. All right. Double count that. All right. I was just going to get happy with uh, all right, man. You're cool. all good. You awesome. Want uh, sure. Yeah. If you don't mind. Don't um, have anything from Pee Wee's Playhouse or anything, do you, that I'm missing? Uh, no, no. No, no, no Pee Wee's. Uh, hey, awesome. appreciate it. Thanks awesome. so much. Yep. <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Yeah, you too. Excuse me. All right, man. Let me grab a piece. Oh, I went big on Boglins. Wow, man. Oh, those are cool. <laughs> oh, no. I really like this one. I love Thundercats. Me too. This is my favorite going up. I wish they would have done more with it. Yeah. All right, man, let me grab the lino. Cool, man. Mind if I get your picture with it? That'd yeah, sure. Cool. Should we hold it up? Yes, sir. Awesome. Awesome, buddy. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, you too. Take it easy. And if you ever want any custom work done, like, you can email. Okay. How do I hit you up? Just like uh, on Facebook or something? Banana art. Okay. okay let me get it on, on camera. Facebook. Awesome. Can't miss it. Cool, man. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks again, man. Nice to no meet you. Hope you found some cool I, I spent way too much money. I gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> All right, so the event was called Geek Meet Indie, and it was the very first one. It's an offshoot of the Indiana Toy and Comic Expo. And since it was the very first one, I did not know what to expect, but my honest review is it was awesome. Between the vendors and the artists they chose, it was just a really good combination. There was there was really something for everyone who's interested in sort of this kind of geek culture. If you like vintage toys, there were vintage toys. If you like comic books, there were comic books. If you like custom art, there were custom artists. So I really enjoyed it. I think they did a great job. I'll put all the relevant links in the description so you can follow them. If you're interested in checking them out next time, I think they do already have a date scheduled for next year and I will definitely be there. I'm very excited about the stuff I was able to come home with. So let me show it to you real quick and I'll even throw up some eBay comps in some cases for those of you that enjoy seeing the potential value versus what I actually paid. I think the vendors came ready to deal and that really makes for a fun show. I did pick up one piece of custom artwork. This was by David Clark. I believe he goes by Red Banana and he had some really cool stuff there, but I just really liked this uh, Thundercats lion -O. So uh, this is the one I decided to grab. He did tell me that he had been watching my video, so it felt cool to be able to support someone else's work that supports mine. But uh, I'm currently trying to figure out some things Things that I could uh, maybe hire him for some custom work for because he does a really good job. I did pick up a few comic books. Comics definitely are not my forte, but uh, once in a while I will grab them. This is the only one I can't really explain why I bought. It's the uh, Rocket Raccoon number one. I did bundle it with something else, so I, pr I probably paid $5 less than what it says. So let's say I paid $15 for it. It's probably not worth a lot beyond that and uh, most likely not a good investment piece. I picked up a Star Wars number one recently. I did grab a Star Wars number two graded kind of as an investment so uh, this one definitely caught my eye I was I was really confused about why it was $20 I noticed that it didn't have a barcode so he explained to me that this was the uh, Whitman variant which I had heard of the Whitman variants 
but I didn't personally have experience until now. So they're definitely not the original most most desirable comics, but definitely worth the $20 based on what I'm seeing comp-wise. A little soft on the corners, but no big creases or anything. So I just thought it would go good with my number two, uh, maybe help to sell that in the future. And then we have Eastman and Laird's TMNT number six. Bundled this one, so I probably paid five less. So let's call it 45. Probably about what this book is worth, maybe, maybe even on the high side of market value. But I'm always picking up the original line of Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when I see them out, especially if they're in good shape like this. Probably the best actual deal of the day came from uh, the vendor Mike's Vintage Toys out of Dayton, Ohio. I paid $190 for everything here. We have an original Motu King Hiss on card. We have a 1991 uh, storage shell Donatello also on card. And then we have a loose Motu Cyclone with the sticker and the shield complete. King Hiss was marked at 115, Donatello was marked at 90, and Cyclone was marked at 15, and he did a bundle deal, everything for 190. Fantastic deal. The King Hiss does have some uh, wear on the card, so it's not perfect, but it is unpunched. But even in this condition, I think that this figure is probably worth about what I paid for everything. I've seen some in worse condition sell for over $200, and the bubble is nice and clear on it. The Donatello, also not perfect, but it is unpunched. It's got a little bit of wear right here. Other than that, it's pretty good. And even the original price of 90 bucks was a pretty good deal, considering uh, this uh, figure can sell for about 150 bucks or so in this condition. Early carded TMNT is something that I kind of think is a pretty good investment right now. They just seem to be going up and up. And then the last figure, the Cyclone, oddly enough, one that I didn't have yet uh, with a good sticker on it. So even at 15 bucks, like I said, good deal. 10 bucks was an amazing deal. This, this figure in this clean of condition can sell upwards of about 25 bucks or so. And then my favorite buy of the day came from Sewer Lair Toys. I believe they're out of Lafayette, Indiana. I've been following them on Facebook for a while, but I've never been to their store. But I gotta tell you, if this is the kind of stuff they're bringing to a toy show, I can't imagine what their toy is actually like. So I definitely have to go check it out. I mean, they had My Pet Monster, Food Fighters, a vintage Mork in box, some Sideshow Universal Monster Dolls. I mean, they really brought some cool stuff that you don't see very often. And I'm thrilled that I was able to find this stuff. First of all, we have a Hey Vern, it's Ernest Doll. You know, Vern, it looks like a transmutation of the 110 and the 220. You know what I mean? Ernest P. Whirl, made by Kenner. I believe this was late 80s. And I've never owned one. I loved Ernest. I love the show. I love all the movies. Jim Varney was hilarious. And this is just pure nostalgia for me right here. This is my childhood. Price tag of basically 80 bucks in this condition on eBay. You're normally going to pay about 100 or so. So very fair deal, honestly. But this box is, is just about pristine. Plastic is clear. There's no big scratches or marks anywhere. The corners look pretty good on it. It's got the original stickers and the clearance sticker. This thing went for $7 at one time. But the graphics are just bright and amazing. There's no sun fading or water damage or anything. So I'm thrilled to have found this. But let's see what it sounds like. Are we having fun or what? Honestly, not bad. And then probably the coolest toy to come out of the 1980s, Boglins. Over here, I'm a Boglin. Me and my buddies need a place to hide out. <laughs> come a little closer. <laughs> I never thought I would find Boglins from the 80s in such good condition, especially the set of three, the original large Boglins, Dwork, Drool, and Vlob. All with their original cage boxes, all in good condition, not missing any hands or, or antennas or eyeballs or anything. All pretty clean. I don't, I don't really think they were played with necessarily. I think one even still has its hang tag back in the box somewhere. But like I said, these are probably some of the coolest toys to come out of the 80s. Let me know if you agree. They had them marked at 180 bucks a piece, which is completely fair. Uh, I bought all three, so I got them for 150 a piece. So a total buy cost of 450 bucks. Sounds crazy, but I don't think that value is going anywhere. Like I thought these were some of the newer versions because the boxes are so clean. All the cool artwork on the back with the story and the facts and everything about the Boglins. These do tend to sell for between 150 and over 200 bucks a piece. Uh, condition is everything, obviously, and these are spectacular. And there are some that I think are more valuable out there, like the Halloween offshoots and everything. But these are the original three characters, the three large size characters. And to have all three, um, I think that makes a nice collection. And I think 450 was completely fair. I am thrilled to have these. <laughs> So like I said, very cool event, highly recommended. I'll put all the relevant links down in the description from the, from the places I bought from and from the event itself. Definitely check them all out. Lots of cool, fair people and all highly recommended. That's all I got for you this time. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching the video, but until next time, stay safe.
stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha-ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know I'm buying this crap. <laughs>